Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2020. This is the 2021 range from Rapido, which I've got in front of me. And uh, this one here is the 656F, which costs in excess of 64,000 euros in this format, though 56 is its normal. A stuck kickoff price, 679 long centimeters, 235 wide. Height of 290, and obviously it's on three and a half ton basis. Don't know what the empty weight is, as it's not given. This bed, sorry, this van has a queen bed in the back, and a lot of space up front. I have to say that in my opinion, this is a rather typical layout. I'm going to see if I can get the lights on in here. So there we go. Well that works. And where's the light switch? That's even better. Often the problem is with queen beds is, I mean the idea is you can sort of uh, get, uh, get in from both sides. Well, I suppose you can just about do that. Whoops, uh, just about do it. In all fairness, I do have a bag on my back. You see, I've got a bag on my back. I'm carrying a spare battery for the telephone. It's not a spare battery, actually. The battery itself weighs about four times more than the telephone does. Because I've got a rather large one. But, um, so I've got two things to charge, the gimbal and the the telephone right so i've explained all that uh, well 679 centimeters long perfectly adequate wet room except the fact it's only got one plug hole drain hole but it is in the center so that sort of makes it a bit better now i think this is if it's, it's Given the layout of it, admittedly, it is somewhat difficult to build something around there. Maybe, maybe a side bed would work better. But there's one thing a side bed can't give you, which is much of a garage. And we'll see that one in a short while. So this vehicle, it's shorter than mine, but it's wider than mine. So it's 15 centimeters wider and that mightn't sound like much 15 centimeters is what oh something like that isn't it but uh if you're sort of driving down the german motorway when they've got the it's it sort of uh closed the bits are closed off then uh well that might uh, might be a bit more difficult for you if you're not used to it i don't know how these lorry drivers manage those roads Right, um, central locking in something like this, which I'll demonstrate. Central locking is, oops, close the door, it's not, it's not soft close. It's locked. Now, I heard a story yesterday about someone who didn't know how it worked and then broke all three drawers down trying to get it to work Hor horrible it's um obviously you use force it's going to break i saw a little little touch like that and i'll show you it's not going to come open during your journey but if you really yank it like suppose you anything it's going to break this is becoming increasingly common and i think that this Personally, I think this is a good idea. Two uh, hobs spaced apart, modern kitchen. You've got plenty of workspace there. Also, I suppose even over there is uh, something you can um, use as well when you're preparing food. I think that's a relatively good idea. And okay, space for the table. 
personally, I prefer a table against the wall. The reason is this, because I do work in the table, in, on, in, on, on the table in the van. But if you're not going to be using things uh, and you're thinking more about more room around the table, more room for talking and this type of thing, socializing, then probably a center table uh, is a better idea in those circumstances. So it's got a six speed gearbox. Ooh, come around here, have a sit down. Well, I'd have to say on the whole, it's a nice-ish fan. Okay, that's, oh, tower, fridge. Let's go out. You can get an electric bed, uh, which will be the dinette as an option. Okay, this is the difference between the queen bed and the side bed. You get all this extra space. I suppose it could be done with the side bed, but thought about it enough. I don't know, think a, be a bike would go in there. No, I don't think, I know. I'm certain a bike wouldn't fit in there. Yeah, I'll show you another couple in the same sort of line. Yeah, this one is called Ultimate Line. 686 F 72,230 and it's 720 centimeters long. You can get a bike in there if you put the if you put the bed up. Twelve volts here, isn't it? There we go, and uh, the lights are here. I've got to say the lights came on very quickly in this van. Sometimes there's this lag. Now, see here the difference between the two vans for the queen bed. You can actually get round here relatively easily, and on the other side as well. The uh, bed I think is wider because the wet room has gone there and where's the handle for this good size wardrobes on the other side okay this one is 41 centimeters longer 41 centimeters okay is what about from there to 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 there something like that well in length that i don't think that's much of a problem it's wider for me it's a problem there you go separate toilet and bathroom oh see how this is profiled as well And there is the central drain plug. Definitely prefer this one. Though it has got this one thing I don't like, such as the bed up there. Impinging on my headroom. Of the two, I prefer this one. But it's longer. I think that's a reasonable comparison. I mean, it's a bit more expensive, but uh, not a lot. Yeah, we're going to have a look at another one. This, although it's, this has got a different layout inside. It's got the German layout. 65,749 centimeters long. It needs to be longer because of the rear layout. Oh, the lights aren't coming on. Oh, they came on, All right. There was a bit of a lag there. I said there isn't a lag, but then the last couple there wasn't, but uh, there was there. Oh, different, different toilet. I like the, uh, I like 
right. The colour of the door is better. The, the, I don't think the, does the, does the doors colour match. Does that match the match the floor? I don't know. I don't know about design. In fact, the dog knows more about design than I do. Okay, they're good. So there's a. <clears throat> Three R Rapido vans. I'll go back to the one I started off with, which is here. And so, thanks very much for watching. Hope that was of interest. And uh, all the best from Dusseldorf, Germany. <laughs>